Hello, what is up everyone? RL57 here, back with yet another diecast cover video, and today we have the Audi RS e-tron GT. Now this is obviously, uh, I believe, the third recolor of the Audi RS e-tron. Now in this uh, different color right here, which I'll talk about later. Hot wheel screen speed number 6 out of 10. Uh, what number is that? 109 out of 250. So let's go ahead and open this up. So first things first, there's something weird that I notice about this car. I'll give you a while for you to guess what is the difference with this car and I want you to leave your answers in the comments while I get the previous model. So obviously this is the Audi RS e-tron GT which has released three times. I mean this is the third time obviously but um, yeah there is something different with this car if you notice carefully. If you check properly you would already find it out by now. Uh, let me just show you. So here is the previous model which we had in this sort of like metal flake gray as we had previously and then after that we had the red one in this awesome loving the red overall the red seems very nice and um, I believe Mattel did a mistake on the car when the first two launched as if you look closely on the front of the car basically the fake grill obviously you could easily tell that the newer version has already changed completely for that front grille. I mean the front front bumper of course, not the front grille. And um, well, it got me thinking. Did Mattel do a mistake? And I believe so because if you look closely, there's a part where they've like fixed where it actually turned into that original color that it had on the body and partially they've like get rid of partially the part where they make it like that matte black color for the front and uh, basically made it the same color as the body basically the same body color but just that they've removed partially a part of it and uh, basically changed it I guess it's kind of hard to explain actually because um, let me just show you here so I noticed this on day one when I got this car and if you look closely I'll show you here so if you look closely okay so this is basically the new one from the E case and basically this is the old one the first release and as you can already tell Yes, this part is the similar color to the metallic body of the car. Whereas this one is fully covered in this matte black color which is really unexpected actually. Because like when you look at it from the side it seems like a normal car. It's still like the same thing. Just that when you look at it from front you could kind of see the difference already by now. Yes, Mattel did change this and uh, I don't know if any ad any other people like uh, noticed it or not. I'm not entirely sure what, why did they do this change? Maybe they want to, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe Audi told them to like change it. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure but still. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the car here. Obviously this is the Audi e-tron GT. In this sort of like uh, sleek looking design obviously we have uh, these type of rims which I don't really like kind of seems like a fantasy model by now because of its rims obviously these rims are popularly known for fantasy castings which uh, many people will hate it many people will like it for some reason 
but I believe many people will change the tires for some reason but overall it's just a minor matter oh yeah by the way the rims are in chrome silver as you already can tell the side clearly empty as you can see not really much to say for the side just that it's very clean actually moving on to the front you have the headlights and then basically the audi logo and that partially that part that they've removed and uh, the license plate which i'm not sure what it says uh oh yeah it's obvious hot wheels green speed hw green speed yeah uh quite a nice detail i guess interior is in black as you can see right there if you want to see it right there there you go sort of like that black interior right there moving on to the back you have the rear lights which kind of reminds me of a Taycan and then you have the Audi logo at the back and it says Hot Wheels Green Speed for the license plate which um, yeah pretty cool grey base and uh, Audi RS e Tron GT 2021 Mattel made in Malaysia I have no idea why Mattel did another recolor which kind of looks similar to the first color it launched but still they could have gone with maybe like that dark green i don't know something like that or maybe something else maybe a different change or so maybe dark blue it would be better but then mattel decided to do this color in this sort of like grayish blue i don't know not really much of a fan of it but still it kind of seems okay maybe maybe because they've changed that front look a bit i guess but still it is an okay car i don't really recommend you to get this if you already have either of the colors i still think the red one seems better in many ways but still uh if you're gonna get this, you can if you want, maybe you're an Audi fan or so. Maybe you think this car is very nice or maybe you adore it because obviously Iron Man drove it. So maybe you want it and I don't know, maybe you want to keep it as a collection. I have no idea but still, uh, I don't really recommend this casting but still if you want to get this color, go ahead. Or maybe uh, if you collect all of the colors then uh, yeah go get yourself a color that's clearly the same as the first release but still uh nearly different but still still okay once again i'd like to say thank you guys for watching see my other videos don't forget to leave like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one see you soon bye bye